I see new companies every day announcing layoffs, hiring freezes as the economy continues to slow. The reason productivity matters right now is because one of the greatest companies in the history of mankind, Google, announced the need for a productivity sprint. They said their headcount has exceeded the demand. So basically they have too many employees, not productive enough, not making enough money. So to me, that's a signal they're probably gonna do layoffs similar to Oracle right now. Anytime I see big announcements like this in the FANG, big tech companies, it's usually a downstream effect for what I'm gonna see working at a smaller tech company. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five ways to maximize productivity immediately. Hit the like button now, comment down below for the algorithm, and subscribe to the channel now. Our goal is 15,000 subscribers. Strategy number one is to block off time on your calendar. You hear this all the time, but either you block off the time or you don't block off the time. People message me all the time internally and they say, Trent, you're so busy, I couldn't find time in your calendar. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm actually really not that busy, but I just block off time strategically. So one, it looks like I'm more productive than I actually am, but by blocking off the time, it gets me to think, hey, I don't actually need to do that activity right now. It's hard to have the discipline, but I blocked it off my calendar. I may as well think about it and spend a few minutes on it. It's all about dedicating the time to the specific activities that you know that will make you more successful. Me as a sales guy, I like to start my day with the activities I dread the most. Sending cold emails, actually customizing the notes, going and finding prospects. So those are the first two things I start my days with. 30 minutes, 8 to 8.30, prospecting. 8.30 to 9, sending cold emails. Block off your calendar and it's an incentive for you to actually back up that activity with the time it needs to get it done. Strategy number two is look at every event through a revenue filter. Fortunately, being a salesperson, it's very easy to quantify productivity and efficiency. It's binary, black and white. Do you hit your quota? Yes, no. One of the strategies later in the video is gonna talk about how to actually win the day, but it's very easy to tell if a salesperson is productive or not because they hit their number at the end of a week, month, quarter. So I look at every activity that comes my way, an inbound meeting, an SDR wanting to speak with me, Somebody messaged me on LinkedIn saying, hey, I wanna work at your company, can you set up time? I look at every event through the revenue filter. How is this going to get me closer to closing revenue so that I can hit my quota? Somebody reaching out to me on LinkedIn asking to meet doesn't get me any revenue. SDR wanting to meet with me talking about how we can prioritize my account book. Yeah, you can justify that. Pipeline generation, that's eventually gonna to lead to revenue. So if you're in a revenue producing role like I am in sales, look at everything through the revenue filter, internal meeting, colleague wanting to speak with you. Hey, I, I, I value your perspective, I'd love to hear from you, but this isn't gonna get me any revenue, so I just, I can't do the call right now. And that's an example of what you have to be willing to do, tell people no if it's not gonna get you more revenue. Strategy number three is to schedule internal meetings for less than 20 minutes and only on Monday or Friday. I'm not perfect at this, nor do I have the clout to be able to say, hey, I'm not gonna meet with you today. But if I at all can control it, I like to schedule my internal meetings on Monday, Friday, because to me, those days aren't, all days are important. But as a salesperson, I, I really believe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are those prime selling days. The Monday is the portal into the week, the Friday is the portal into the weekend, and they're great times to do prospecting. They're great times to set up meetings externally because there's nothing better than a Monday morning demo or a Friday afternoon discovery call because people are loose and they're unique times and they don't usually have meetings. So I like to have meetings at those points. So I don't like to have internal meetings during the time, during the golden hours when I should be meeting with prospects. External meetings, good. Internal meetings, for the most part, bad. Unless it's through the revenue filter, can get me more revenue. A lot of people like to talk just to talk. So if you have to do those talking meetings, do them Monday, Friday, if at all possible. And then rather than just scheduling the default 30 minutes, schedule it for 20 minutes and say, hey, we put a restriction, a boundary condition on this time. Therefore, it's more valuable. We need to be more urgent. We need to get directly to the point. And that's personally how I like to carry my meetings. Am I always doing it? No, but in an ideal world, that will help me maximize productivity. Strategy number four is measure activities that contribute to winning the day. So what does winning the day mean for me? Winning the day means contributing to my pipeline generation activities. As a sales rep, I need to generate revenue. So I look at what are the revenue producing activities that actually help me get there. So it's pipeline generation, pipeline health, self-development. 
I have a point system dedicated to pipeline generation, and it basically assigns a point value for a specific bucket of activities. For example, sending seven cold prospect emails, that's one point. Adding seven prospects to my sequence, that's one point. Making a cold call and having a live conversation with the prospect, that's one point. You can get the message. There's other activities that contribute to the points. And I have this whole point system and cold calling script and strategy outlined in my B2B cold calling guide. I'll put it in the description below if you want to go check it out on my website. But I look at it and I say, winning the day to me means seven points. So many times I left the day questioning, did I have a good day today or a bad day? In sales, you get rejected a lot, so it's easy to get focused on these micro losses. So I began to quantify objectively, numbers do not lie. What does a one day look like? And for me, it's doing the seven points on the prospecting system. And I think that's really important. So ask yourself now, if you're in a revenue producing role, what activities contribute to your success and how can you start tracking them? Because I think that the, this is where a lot of companies are going. They're gonna announce performance plans and they wanna start tracking what you're doing because in 2020, 2021, Employers wanted to keep their employees. They wanted to be flexible around work. They wanted to say, hey, go do your thing. As the economy continues to tighten, costs become more important. Profitability, that's why all these tech companies are getting crushed. Interest rates are going up, money's more expensive, future cash flows are discounted. So they need productivity, so it matters now. So you can't just be messing around, loafing around your apartment, cooking chicken wings in your air fryer during the day, taking a four hour lunch, grabbing drinks with buddies, Productivity matters, and that's the trend I see continuing forward. Finally, number five is um, operate with urgency. This just means having that internal fire, that dragon blood saying, I am here to get a job done. I am working hard so that I can achieve this outcome. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get this result. And the way I see this embodied is checking your email, getting back to prospects quickly, responding to messages internally quickly. I see this with people I interact with. I can quickly tell based on their proactiveness and their messaging, are they messaging me solutions or are they messaging me problems? Are they getting back to me quickly? Or are they not getting back to me quickly? All of these factors really matter because the more urgency you operate with, the more productive you're gonna be and the more airspace you will have to push those around you to say, hey, we are here to get a job done. Let's operate with urgency. We're here to move the mission forward of the company, to service our customers, to create more value. And that's ultimately what it's all about at the end of the day. Those are five ways to increase your productivity. Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, if you're watching right now, bring me in, I'll talk to your employee base, I'll get them all moving in the right direction, we'll get productivity up to higher numbers than it's ever been in the history of the company. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you found value in it, hit the like button now if you haven't already. Comment down below for the algorithm. If you do not know what to comment, comment the city emoji to indicate the city behind me. Subscribe to the channel, we're gonna get to 15,000 at the end of this video. Have a great rest of your day, let's get these numbers up.